<clears throat> Hedging your bets. The train carriage was empty as the far away untouched barren fields. It was just me, them, and the man who seemed to board from them. He was skeletal, almost all black but for the skin of his hands like clouds. And he sat right next to me. Can you believe it? His choice of tastefully patterned velour seats in this high class tin can, going like sardines to an even classier city. And he stared out of my window, watching as trees started to appear. We spent a good ten minutes not acknowledging the obvious until our eyes caught, and we chatted away about the weather and the cultural differences between Manchester and Liverpool. But then, after the brief and only silence, I asked, You could have sat anywhere. The train is empty. Why did you sit here? And he laughed. Soon this carriage will be full of people. People and their things, their children, their problems and their limbs. You look like a decent fellow, you know, to sit with. And it is always, undoubtedly, the right thing to hedge your bets. When we both turned back to the window, the train was approaching the dirty landscapes of the outskirts of the city, and I thought about what I was going there to do. My friends, out late, glasses in their hands. Her. Me in her hands. And everybody else outside. And I got it.